All right, so we bring more robots. This time, uh, four by four. Now, this one they use uh, a different technology. Normally, we bring the Raspberry Pis or Adreno. This one they use chips called e, uh, ESP32. It's like a low cost chip where you can be reprogrammed. Use it with the Bluetooth connection, also with the Wi-Fi. Uh, it's pretty uh, it's, it's, it's a simple one um, to build because actually the motherboard is the chassis of the car. So let me show you this right now. How are we doing, guys? This is David from Media Box NT, and as you see, we bring you plenty of robots all the time. So this time we have a four x four. I think it's pretty cool. Well, see, uh, uh, to build it is much simple. Not too many parts to put that together, and, and you can reprogram and use different uh, codes to do different things. You can use either uh, Wi-Fi connection, and I think the be best thing is to use the app to control it, or you can use a uh, remote control as well too, like regular control remote. As we, as we see, uh, the chassis is 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 the motherboard that comes already built. And the only thing you need to install in this case is is the board that's the ESP32, the one you see there, then you're gonna be programming yourself out. Uh, you have to put the motors here. And as we see here, it has a sensor too. So the sensor, if you draw a, a black line, you can activate that. And it will follow the back line, so you see that automatically, see when it's. And it's a transmitter and a receiver. So it will follow that if you want. If you think you can do that, you can change the face. And it has a camera that sends video back to you. It has a photo source in the top, and also you can turn on this uh, cool LED. It's pretty, pretty fast and powerful guy because it's four, uh, four by four. Pretty common models we have seen in these type of projects, and and it's pretty nice and a fast car. So some of the things you can do. So you need to download the app. I will say that's the best way to control this. So I'm connected to the app, and a few things we can do. I can just go on the face. Here and if I show there, I can you know send different information to the face. We get that pretty cool, right? We have a crazy one. Once we choose that, we can uh, take picture if you want. So this took a picture already, or we can activate the camera feed. And if you see it right there, so what I can do, I can move the head up or down. Here we control the speed. Let me bring that super fast. Let me bring it like, uh, yeah, 15% speed wise. A few things we can do is call the T light. So the T light is that. It has a photo, it has a photo cells here. So it will react with the light. Okay. So you see that? So it react with the light. So it's, it's, it's like it follows the light. So, If I have a line there, and it actually, it will follow this is because it's too thick. That, that's the thing. It's stop there because the line stopped. But they give you an idea, right? You can do that. You can turn on the LEDs. Right now, it's not working for me. And then we can do manually, and manual is pretty simple. We can uh, go forward, make this rotate as we go with the app. So I have my app up there. You see that? It, it got, ooh. Guys, it's fast, guys. Okay. Oh, just crash with my keyboard. Guy, it's fast, man. And that's only like, uh, this is only like half of the speed of this guy, huh? I'm not, I'm not going uh, fast at all. Let me open the camera a little more so we can actually see this much better. Okay. So, you see there? Oh, come forward. I right, come to me. No, the other way. And, and if I go speed wise, I can go 100%. That's just, just too, that's too fast. So let me stop it here because it's gonna no. go the other way. Yeah, this guy's fast. And and because it's a four wheel drive, it will continue to work because they are the four models are working. They're all synchronized, so they're all working together. It makes this. Uh, a super fast uh, little car so i think it got is pretty cool and download the app and i said i think it's pretty cool i think it definitely is a good extent project science technology engineering right and math to put that 
yeah they are chill you see there and i think definitely in, in a couple of hours you can have this there are a few things you need to program but the strings are pretty clear, uh, pretty clear to do that and that's it and then you just go and go on all terrain and has a fun with this 4x4 car so remember how we get one of this i will leave the link right below so you can get one for yourself and the battery as well till next time